looking for a job is hard enough, and then comes the whole interview, those tricky interview questions though, that come with it, you know? Well, we have the answers. Craig Treadway is here with our career coach on the best way to answer. Craig, good morning. Good morning, France. It's okay. You know, there are questions that freak you out during an interview, <laughs> right? What's your biggest weakness? Where do you see yourself in five years? I mean, those are the type of questions that will make you freeze. They're typical interview questions, and they can be tricky to answer. So uh, here to tell us how to handle that type of inquisition is career coach and executive search consultant, Lori Rosenfield. Lori, thank you so much good for morning. being with us. This is a good one because these questions totally get people to freeze up. Yeah. First, let's talk about this one. Tell me about yourself. It's so open-ended. People are always afraid they're going to mess this one up. Yeah, because it is so open-ended, that's what trips people up. You know, this isn't an invitation to start with your life story about when you had a lemonade stand, you know, in <laughs> fifth grade. This is your professional story. You want it down to two or three minutes about your skills and accomplishments that make you the best person for this job. That's really what your answers want to be for all interview questions. I wonder if that question is designed to try to find out how you can communicate systems succinctly with it, other people. Yes, it absolutely is. That's really the key with all interview questions. And again, relating it back to why you're the person for the job. Okay, next up, what's your biggest weakness? That th This is one that people really get confused about. I mean, do I say it? Do I make something up? I mean, yeah. what do you do? Yeah, some people advise that you take a strength and make it a weakness. Like, mm. you know, I'm such a workaholic. I, I have to make myself not work 24-7. I think that's a little disingenuous. Yeah, and none I don't of, think people buy that. They don't. And none of us is perfect we can all think of something that 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 we turned around so think of a think of examples like you know I realized my PowerPoint skills weren't very good I went out on my own and took a class or I had so many responsibilities and I felt I wasn't really that organized so I came up with a new system find something that that you can talk about to show how you made the improvements okay here's the deer in the headlight ones can you explain this gap between employment now what are, what are some of the points you got to hit here? Well, you know, these days there's a little bit less stigma around this, to be honest with you, but whether you're a mother returning to work or you were someone who was laid off in 2000, 2008, 2009, mm -hmm. when the entire world fell apart, sure. let's be fair, you just want to have your story down. Again, you want to be concise. What were you doing during that time? Let's be honest. You can't look for a job 24 hours a day. So did you volunteer? Did you take a class? And you know what? If you were on the couch sort of nervous about what your next steps were, well, talk about how you did soul searching to really mm. figure out what the next right step for you was. Okay, what about uh, why are you leaving your current job? Mm. This is one I find that people really tend to overshare on this. Mm -hmm. You really want to know? Let me tell you about <laughs> how terrible my my boss was or this company was, how dysfunctional. Don't go not there. Good, not no, good you at don't all. want to burn bridges. Talk about opportunities that you're looking to get. Inherent in that are things that aren't being fulfilled in their current job. Okay, Lori Rosenfield, thank you so much for being with us. We could talk about this all day as usual. Yeah. Thanks again. Thanks, we appreciate Craig. it. Guys, we'll send it back to you.